everyone. How's your bodies? A body. So we are going to have a conversation today about X-Men. What is it? Mm -hmm. The annoyance of being aware. <laughs> annoyance. <laughs> yeah. And I suppose the evolution of how strong we've become with the use of the Access Consciousness tools and particularly the X-Men tools. And um, let me just make sure that this is visible to everyone on Facebook. How does it get any better than this? Okay, so talk to me. Um, where were you guys with your awareness before Access? May, may I go? Yes. Yeah, so actually, like, when I wake up today, like, I was, like, I, I was in, like, a, like I, I was like a lot of aware, like like everything that's going on for me. And like when you said that, like I just want to like say like before, like access consciousness or the tool of access consciousness. Like I can actually even say like before, like I don't. Want to <laughs> we are not actually talking about it, but like the energy pools, like with you, like before, like I started attending the energy pools and really like starting the engaging with the consciousness and like the possibilities. Like I thought, like everything that I was aware of is me, and uh, uh, uh. hi Sarah. <laughs> everything that you were aware of was you. In in other words, I when you even say this, I thought everything. You act like what you're receiving is who you are. I thought everything I was aware of was me. Yeah, like for me too. Like I like when I was like waking up, like because I was waking up to like all this like thoughts and feelings and emotions. I was like, oh my god, like today is gonna be suck and. <laughs> Actually, I'll just like start keep choosing like from that reality, and yeah. like today, like when I was wake up, I I was like, I was like still aware of like like all of the thoughts, feelings, and emotions, and like one of the things I was like actually being like so grateful for that I know it was not mine, and I yeah. knew like it was something that I can I perceive, and I still I I actually have like different choices. I don't need to like choose to be like unhappy i don't need to choose to be like i don't need to judge myself or just like uh, separate from everybody and go away i can like still show up and like still generate my life and still be aware which i can say like actually if i i i know actually if i didn't like attend the class and like just like uh like with x-men like like it just like bring like a different like strength to my being and I what i can be that. like be present of and like every time I just like when I keep attend like a class, it just allow me to like be present with the things that I think I couldn't be present. And yeah, yeah, I'm just like super grateful for the tools of access consciousness. And yeah. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add this as a three day access body facilitator. One of the things with X Men is that your body is a sensory organism, and you and your body have proprioceptive awareness of everything your body is designed to give you the awareness of everything around you and I just hadn't ever been told how dynamic this is as an x-men so x-men we are people that have been you know told that there's something wrong with us that we're too sensitive might have OCD like me ADD ADHD and um, and also autism. So basically, they're the people that are super aware. And usually, you make yourself wrong. And you hide behind that wrongness instead of recognizing the strength and the capacity to be aware of where bodies are functioning from the world. Because our bodies, actually in this world, body, the, the source for relationship with body is judgment almost always, not gratitude. And so one of the things with X-Men is we came here to create a greater future and embodiment for our world, for our people, for human re human embodiment, humanoid embodiment. So this is where if we don't take a look at the strength, you can extremely quickly get lost like you woke said you woke up this morning and you were like oh and that's where you don't ask if you don't ask um what what am I perceiving what you know what am I aware of 
then you're into having all these feelings and heaviness and tiredness and oh, oh, that actually stops you from getting on and enjoying your day. Yeah, and it's so interesting you talk about hiding because before I started doing access, um, I would say like my favorite question to ask was what's wrong with you? <laughs> like that was my 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 question. That I, what's wrong with you? Why can't you blah, 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 blah. And I, you know. Yeah. That. Um, and, I, and I so desperately wanted to be able to be with people because I actually really like people and I want to be able to be with people but I always felt so wrong wrong when I was around people and I really felt like I was on my own like yeah. I was on my own I was just like freak like I, I was on my own and now like number one I can be with people without you know when I I sense those things coming up like I can ask a, 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 a better quality question <laughs> than what's wrong with you. Like what's right about me that I'm not getting or any number of questions, but I can be with people without, without being wrong or without taking on all the wrongness that's, that I perceive. I can actually perceive it without being it. And so basically what this looks like for me, in case people are watching this and they're like, whoa, I have that sense of like what's wrong with me is that you have a capacity to perceive things out of people's heads, thoughts, feelings, and emotions. And most people hate their bodies, unfortunately. Uh, they judge them and say, this is too big, this is too small, this is ugly. So we will stand next to someone, we will perceive all that judgment. Now, if we start to recognize that we have an ability, a strength, it's not, so for me, I'd be like, what's wrong with me? <laughs> well, I'm, there is something radically wrong with my brain, you know, and actually what turned out to be wrong with me has been the strength of, first of all, inviting people to a new reality with their bodies, with their capacities and building a global business <laughs> with these capacities. So you can hide behind the wrongness or you can actually start to ask, what strongness is this? My goodness me, I can hear all the lies that this person is um, functioning from when they're referencing their body. And so one of the greatest gifts for me is to let bodies know what a gift they are, let people know what, what a gift they are, and then I can receive the gift to me. But I have to acknowledge, first and foremost, how different I am, because I am extremely different. Like, I will hear things, like people will say, oh, I couldn't tell you about this for six months, and, and I'll be like, well, I knew the whole time, you know? <laughs> <laughs> So, because <laughs> I hear it out of their heads, their heads, like someone would say, oh, you know, uh, whatever that is. And I will know. And so for me, it did take me a while. OCD is a capacity to be aware of people's thoughts, feelings, emotions, up to 8,000 miles radius. So this is something that I really had to look at in my functionality. And so the X-Men tools, there's a whole bunch of work with access. There's the most amazing book in the world, Would You Teach a Fish to Climb a Tree? Okay. Mm, and that's, that's it's nice. like, <laughs> you know, um, mm. if you judge someone, you know, that they should function in a different way, you never get to see the beauty of the way that they function. And the biggest thing that Troy said that I have been developing is the gentleness that I can be for myself, the kindness that I can be for myself and the space of allowance at the level of awareness that I'm functioning from. And absolutely as X-Men, you know, sometimes it can be annoying when I'm not using the tools, when you hear other people's heads, other people's bodies talk to me, you know, um, animals or the earth. So for me, the big thing was actually bars the x-men tools question has allowed me to take that annoyance of awareness into a choice to be grateful for myself and then how can i use this capacity to my advantage you know so i suppose you know what are we doing this far for me 
I have seen so many of my friends and family destroy themselves with these capacities of being, Gary calls it, you're part of the psychic network. Are you part of this? If your family finishes sentences, your friend finishes sentences, I can look at a glass of water and Liz will go get a, get a glass of water. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, like for me, that was just like so fun. Like sometimes like when I was like same house with my, when I was like living in the same house with my brother, I would just like uh, start to, like play something like song in my head and i just like uh in one minute later my brother started to sing sing it like even if i don't like say it out loud yeah 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. and so this for me was i would say starting to trust that i am your main language for an x-men that is true and real is the language of energy okay and then you said something building the strength of my being because I had a lot of coping mechanisms, um, like I was compensating and um, st- surviving and struggling um, instead of being and receiving um, with these capacities. Yeah. And it's been, I do want to say this, it's been a huge reach in receiving me and being kind to me that I've really established now I'm proud to say I actually have established a receiving of myself and the other thing is I am continuously utterly blown away by the level of proprioceptive awareness with their bodies that x-men function from and until they build their own reality which is peace with your body you know because it's ending the fight with your body and, and really having that peace um so it's so funny and um, I'm just looking at Sarah Ross even I knew to look at the chat you know I could not get to sleep the other night as I could see colored patterns that I could not get rid of I wonder what was right about that yeah and this is where you have a unique capacity and it's only you can receive from your unique capacity it doesn't have to be validated so what is right about this what is this um you know, ability, awareness that can contribute. What are you aware of? What do you know? And then it's really, um, Liz talked to me about something the other day. She was like, can we call the next X-Men class, you know, a- ending the tsunami of invalidation, you know, so like we, the, the tsunami of where we don't validate ourselves. Um, Chan O'Hara talks about this as well. So this is where you have to be willing to trust you and stop the I don't know. Because you do know, you might not know that you know, but the moment that you say, what do I know? You're allowing, because X-Men don't function from time, they function from no time. So you're allowing what you know to come true and so that you can trust you. Anything else would you like to say, guys? Yeah, and actually I want to say like, um, it, it, it could be like really intense, like really looking at like, okay, like, uh, like, be, like when I first started to like ask like, okay, like what is right about this? Like I really need to, like really be present like with what's going on and like what's like what I'm actually aware of and like um like for me it was like a behavior to make myself wrong about like everything yeah. like like yeah. what's going on familiar. I was like oh yeah, it's like so, it was like so familiar and really familiar. asking okay like if if I not make this like a wrongness like uh okay like what is right about this and like what capacity do I have here and like really like when I start to ask that like I get it was like one of the, I think, like kindest thing that I just like do my for myself because I just like allow myself to see like okay, like uh, I'm not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually like aware of like a lot of things that are going on, and like actually I can I have like a strength to like change this in the world, and I have like to bring like a different possibility for me, like just acknowledging that. And it wasn't like actually one of the calls that I did with you. You just asked me like. Like actually, are you have like a capacity to change this in the world? And like for me to, it was just like it. It made like so much sense to me. I, I don't know why. I was like, oh my god, like that. Yeah, like that's that. It that is that, and it, it just like bring like me like a lot of like freedom mm. that I didn't have before. And yeah, I'm just like, uh, yeah, I think I'm just like super grateful for the tools and just being able to talk with you ladies and get it out in the world so thank you so much yeah 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 Yeah. exactly so are you here to create a greater future for humanity and so one of the things is that you 
maybe massively aware of judgment and you know that it doesn't work. And if you're interested in coming and taking a one-day excellent class, we have one this Sunday online and live in Holland, in the Netherlands. And again, these tools will allow you to know that you are a gift and that there is nothing wrong <laughs> with what... Hang on a second. What if you're not wrong? Like, what if... Ooh, <laughs> what if... And with that, Boom. we will leave you guys. Have a beautiful day. What am I aware of? And remember, Dane said something during Global Foundation. Um, when you're feeling, you're not willing to have the perception of what you're aware of. So mm -hmm. if I wasn't feeling, what am I aware of? Valuable. Thanks, Liz, for your time. Thanks, Troy. We see you guys later. Bye. Thanks we so hope much. this is a contribution. <laughs>